Today, I'm going to show you how I import sketch designs into Origami Studio. I'm going to show you how to add interactivity to your sketch designs and how I animate them with tap and swipe interactions. Let's get started. So to get started, I have this sketch project that I'm working on. It's a voice recorder app. And right now I have these two states. I have this list state and I have a delete state. So when the user adds recording, they would press this button, they would start their recording, and then that item would be added to their list. Now if they want to delete a recording, they would swipe to the left, and then this delete icon would now appear, allowing them to remove this recording from their files. So I want to take these sketch designs and import them into origami, so I can add interactivity to this prototype to clearly articulate how I want this to animate. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this list artboard and take all the contents inside of list. I'm just going to hold down shift and grab all the layers. Command C and copy it. And then I'm going to go into origami and paste them. So when I import it to origami, I see that some of the elements fit nicely on the screen, but I can't see everything because the background color does not match the background color in the designs. So I'm going to go to this color fill and just make it black. So now I can clearly see all the elements in my design. So when I swipe on this recording 4 to the left, I would like the delete icon to appear over here. But as you can see, it imported all of the contents of that artboard into this one layer called paste. And if I turn it off or on, you can see all the contents are in that one paste layer. So I have to break out the certain elements that we want to be interactive with elements that we don't want to be interactive. Because if everything is in one layer, I can't really differentiate how I want certain elements to animate. So I have to re-explore part of this. So let me go back into sketch and take what I know is not going to change on the page. So the status, this header, this edit button, this line, and this recording button are not going to move on the page. So I can command C those things, go back into origami, delete that original paste layer, and then paste that new layer. So now this new layer contains only those elements that I know will not animate in this design. So now I'm going to go back into sketch and copy each recording layer separately. So I'm taking the first one and then pasting it and renaming it here. Now when I paste it, all these elements are placed one on top of each other in the zero zero position. So I need to change the Y position so they're evenly spread out. So now I want to add interactivity to this. So when I swipe on this item, the delete button would appear. So I'm going to go to that recording and click touch and then specify a swipe in the X direction. This pop switch now appears and it says position X for recording. So if I were to swipe, I see that certain values here are changing. So now it automatically allows me to manipulate this item in the X direction. When I start to swipe to the left, I want it to turn on a switch to keep it in a certain position. So I can see that when I hold this to the left, that value becomes negative. So I can say when this value is less than zero, I want to turn on a switch. So I want to start that X position at zero and I want to end it at let's say negative 60. Add an animation to it. So now this is saying when this value is less than zero, start this switch. So then when I swipe to the left, I see that it starts this switch and it moves that recording four layer to the left and it stays in that position. So now I want to add the delete icon over here so that animates inward when this moves to the left. So I'm going to go back to sketch and grab this red box and that delete icon, copy it and then paste it in here. And I'm going to call it delete. Going to move it to the side of the artboard and downward. So now I want this to only appear when we have swiped. So if I refresh it, it still is visible, 
That's not what we want. We only want delete to enter in when this has moved over. So I want to connect this transition of this delete to that switch. So I'm going to add a transition here and I'm going to make it end at zero because I want the X to be zero. But to begin with, let's move it over until it's not visible on the screen, which is right around 94. So it's going to start at 94 and it's going to end at zero. We have a classic animation of the X position of this delete icon. So now let's refresh and see what that looks like. Now it appears, great. So now I want to add interactivity to this. So when I click on that delete icon, that entire row disappears and the other recordings move upward. So I have to add a tap interaction here. So I'm going to go to this delete icon and click touch and add a tap interaction. So when that button is pressed, I want that recording for layer to move up and fade. And then I want these other layers to move up as well. So I'm going to start this transition of the Y position of this recording for layer. So it's going to start at 80, which is where it is right now. And maybe I'll have it end at 50 and start a classic animation of the Y position of that layer. And I also want to change its opacity. So it's going to transition from one to zero of its opacity because I want it to fade to zero. So I'm going to connect this classic animation layer to the opacity of that recording for. So now I'm expecting that when I tap on this, this is going to fade and move upward. And I tap on it and it fades and moves upward. I want this to also fade as well. So I can have it undergo the same interaction. So I can also click here and change the opacity of this delete icon. So now I'm going to refresh the prototype, swipe and click, and now it fades upward. Great. Now I want these other layers to move upward as well. So when that button is tapped and these things transition, I want to start a transition of the Y positions of these other layers. So I'm going to add other transitions of the Y position for these things. So this one, recording three, it starts at 150 and I'll have it end at 80. And now I'm going to do that to the same for the other layers. I want all of these three layers to undergo the same kind of animation. This switch turns on this pop animation that will change the progress of these transitions. So now let's refresh and see what happens. I swipe, I click, and it all moves up. But as you can see, it moves up before the icon completely deletes. So I want there to be a slight waiting period before these things animate upward. So I'm going to add a wait patch of one second. And let's try it again. One second is too slow, so I'll make it 0.5. Try it again. 0.5 still seems too slow, so I will reduce it again. And a lot of this is just adjusting until it feels natural. So I hope you enjoyed this video going over how I import sketch designs into origami and add interactivity to them. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching!